Paul, just make sure you see me now as best you can. I would have you in there, but the camera needs to pick up this because that information will be going home to you. And if you miss it, then it's a chance lost. So girls, can you watch closely? This is what we're starting with. Underhand throw and catch. That's the movement. So watch me from the feet up. The knees are bent. The, the, hip, the hip is bent. Okay. The back is up and the eyes on the ball. Underhand throw, downhand catch. Okay, girls, are we ready? Coaches, you're observing your girl. Is she conscious of her feet? Does she know about her body structure? So girls, we're ready to go. The girl will do as much change in herself as you will do. And if you don't change, she won't change. That's the deal, isn't it? <whistles> throw it and catch it, throw it and catch it. Throw it and catch it. No, catch down hands. Reverse your hand for the catch. That's it, off you go. Off you go now. Off you go. Go on, go on. Start moving. Good girl. You're starting moving. What's the great girl? Throw and catch. 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 Move your feet. Move your feet. Throw and catch. Move your feet. Throw and catch. Move your feet. Go to your coaches. Ten seconds. Good girl. In every county, I keep the speed. I don't care whether I'm in Kerry or Cork or Kilkenny or Tipperary or Galway or Dublin or Derry or Armagh, I don't care. I keep proper time. So I'm going to be counting at a proper rate. Coach, count your girl. When I get to 20, tell her where she is. Is she on 13 or 23? She needs to know where she is against real time. Are you with me, girls? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Give her a score. Five, four, three, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Give her a score. Well done, coach. Super engagement. Now, you've said your sentence. Now, does the sentence hold up, or were you on the wrong track? If you're on the wrong track, say sorry, pet. That information was useless to you. If it's the right track, say we're on the right track. So, how will you know you're on the right track? If the girl's feet are coming alive and she's catching the ball and she's keeping up with me, everything has happened. So you start, and I blow the whistle when the counting starts. Get into your rhythm now. Into your rhythm. Five, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Run to your coach. Four, three, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So we're doing hand speed now, the girls have hand speed. So fast feet, fast hands. Fast feet, fast hands. One without the other isn't much good. Thank you, Pet. Fast feet, fast hands. I know you can't see from there, but we'll just do something now for the camera that will go through the whole country. Now, feet, move, foot, feet moving twice as fast, hand moving twice as fast. Great girl, she responded immediately. Good girl, super. So this is really common. The good girl syndrome, you often heard about the good girl syndrome. The girl that do what the coach says and she has a hurley across here in her way and because somebody said do that, she did it. She never thought about it or questioned it. What value to me is the hurley across there? No, but somebody told her and she did it. That's what the good girls do. You want to be careful with your good girls, they'll always do what you tell them, whether it's right or wrong. So this girl needs to free up, and she almost has done it through the help of our coaches. She freed up. She got it out of the way for the first time in her life. It was across here, trying to catch the ball. Now look at, look at the valuelessness of that. 
It's in her way, but because the coach told her when she was six to do it, she's still doing it. Where does she need that hurley? If she sent her back, she needs it out there. If she sent her forward, she needs it out there. But she has it here. Who is she protecting? We don't know. Has she little birds nested in here or something? <laughs> she protected, you know? So there you go. Now, girls, we're moving on. So we only have done forward motion. The girl was only doing forward motion. Now we have to do lateral motion, reverse motion. So, Kira, I'll be going forward, delivering the ball for you. I'll break right, lateral right, into reverse, and I'll be in here, and you'll go forward, deliver the ball to me, break right, reverse. Now I'm 100, what age are you? 17. Yeah, well, if I'm faster than you, there'll be a problem, won't there? Yeah. And don't tell Granny about it. Or maybe do tell Granny about it. Are you ready? So we have done this motion now, the children are good at it. But in a real match, there's lateral motion. There's reverse motion, isn't there? So there's a, there's a rectangle here that me and Kira have to follow. It's about two meters by one meter. Have you got that in your heads now? So Kira, ready? Hand free. Forward and deliver the ball. Forward and deliver the ball. Forward and deliver the ball going forward. Deliver the ball going forward. And break right. Deliver the ball going forward. I know I'm old, but, but, that was definitely an ageist remark, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, no, no, you know where I want the ball. Throw the ball, please. To me, I want it faster. I want it faster. Come on. Come on. Deliver the ball fast and hard. Come on. Fast and hard. Good girl. So she hasn't a pattern yet, but she'll get it. Get him in twos. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. I didn't do it. They never saw me. They never heard me. You're doing it. Talk it out. Come on, people. Talk it out. Five, four. <laughs> Deliver going forward. 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 The girls are not going forward to deliver the ball. When the girl is in a real match in three or four years' time, she wins the ball, goes forward, delivers the ball, reverses back, marks her girl, wins the ball, goes forward, delivers the ball, gets back to mark her girl. That's a basic principle. That's what we're doing. But the girls are not going forward, they're going sideways. Go forward and deliver the ball and then get out of town. Come forward, come forward, girl. Come forward. Come forward. Now you're at it. Come forward. Come forward, come on, forward. That's it. Throw it stronger now, throw it harder and stronger. That's it, quicken her up. Now you're at it, come on now. Lower and harder, lower and harder. Lower and harder. Lower and harder. Lower and harder. Coaching time. 10 seconds. Team, team, team. It's a team, it's a team. Run forward, do it running forward, do it while you're 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 running forward, that's the girls. Do it while you're running forward, do it while you're running, that's the girl. If I want this girl to get better, she's totally dependent on me. If I'm doing that kind of thing, she's not going to be many good. She needs a fastball to get her own reactions up. So I go forward, fastball, she has to get her reactions up. The faster I hit it, the better she's going to get. The harder I hit the ball, the better she's going to be. So you're trying to protect your friend, you're trying to protect your friend, both of you are making each other bad. Trust her completely, trust her completely. The better, the harder the ball she gets, the better she gets. That's the ball, that's the ball. Hard and fast, hard and fast. Hard and fast, hard and fast. Hard and fast, hard and fast, good girl. Hard and fast. Match starts now. Ready? First team to 20 wins. It's ultra competitive. Only one team can now win. They're all winning up to now. Do you get it? In behind. I'm forcing the girls to utterly depend on each other. I'm building team play here. So the old people just say to me, 
in order to be a good Komogi player, you need eyes in the back of your head. She now needs to know where her pal is without seeing her. That's a basic principle of hurling. I need to know where people are without seeing them. Isn't it? So now she's learning that her girl is there and trustworthy. I'm centre back, the ball is too high, I must trust my full back. I'm full back, the ball is too high, I must trust my goalie. Yeah? Otherwise I'm going to back in and tough her. Because I trust nobody. You got it? So the children should be going forward. Hard lateral right, hard reverse, hard lateral left, and coming forward to catch the ball. Are you watching for that? And don't watch the ball, only the counter. The counter has to watch the ball. <coughs> counting now, come on, come on, counting now. Underhand throw, underhand throw, underhand throw. Break right, break right, girl in red, break right. Good girls. 20. 20. 18. 18 and you fell asunder. So this girl doesn't understand break right. Break right means that she always knows you're going that way. She can trust you that you won't be here or here. You're always going there and then you're out of her way. Okay, coach your team and see can you win the race. We have won champions here already. These were by far the slowest to get the idea. But when they got it, wow, they flew it. Why? Because they got relative proper information and everything else was left aside. Well done to you, super. Now you're super all the time and so are you. And you were going great until that exercise. Whatever happened, I don't know. Are you ready, children? Why are we doing it? To gain confidence. Yeah, that's, what, that's probably the biggest thing all the time to gain confidence in myself. Now, what are we doing physically? Forward, lateral right, reverse without thinking about it. I'm reversing without thinking about it. I keep my eye on the ball. And I, do you watch me? I keep my eye on the ball, but I'm reversing. I don't have to look down. They're big stuff, aren't they? Race to 20, having the counter in place. Go on, pick it up your hand. That's it, one mistake leads another. Now, good girl. Now, where are you going now? Make it up now, good girl. Living the ball going forward. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Super again. Fierce concentration. That exercise is over. Tell the girls the five or six points we were trying to get across and leave it at that. We'll move on. Tell the girls five or six things we were trying to coach there. All back to the black line. So you run in, throw the ball above the crossbar, high catch. Coach will watch you for 10. I'll blow the whistle when it's time to go. Turn around for the run back, yes, too dangerous. Turn around for the run back. Coaches, this is your task. I would like the girl to deliver earlier so that she could jump earlier. Talk to her. This is what I don't want. I want takeoff. I want run, takeoff. So we have two, we have two rises. One is the helicopter rise, which comes up straight, and the other is the airplane, which takes off. I want the girl to take off and take the ball at the highest point. What they're doing is running in, standing. No impetus, no power. So girls, I want you to deliver the ball on that line and land there with the ball in your hands. Now do you see what she's learning? She's learning timing, which is a really complex idea. She's learning timing. Very few coaches teach timing, which is the, 
highest level the game goes. Do you get that idea? When to release, when to leave the ground and take the ball at the highest point without ever watching the ground. You see what happened there? You got caught inside, yeah? You know what you want to do now, do you? Yeah, totally. Yeah, you know, don't, don't worry. As long as you know what you want to do, it'll happen in a while. See the airplane is not happening yet. So that's quite a quite a difficult idea now that we're on, isn't it? It's easy to throw the ball, get in under it, and jump. That's easy. What I want is take off. I'm taking the ball and I'm gone down the field. So a little bit lower on the throw and more confidence. I don't care if you miss the ball to learn this. Actually, I'd rather you miss the ball to learn this rather than playing safe. Do you get that idea? Do you get the idea now? And once the idea starts going into our head, it'll come. A little bit lower now. Now, hey, we have it. We got it. You have to miss it to get it. So the girl would be cross with herself for missing the ball, but she got everything right. So that's the first one that pleased me. If all the girls are catching the ball, nothing good is going on. The change is not happening. They're protecting their egos. They're entitled to the girls. But if you want to learn, you have to change. Will you try that again? Run, run, run. Yeah, she's almost onto it now. Next time now, you've got to run faster and throw earlier. Run fast, throw early. Now, she's on to it now, but the wall came at her in a hurry. She said, I don't want to knock you. Okay, girls. That's it. That's it. You have the idea, God. Hey, let it back if it's going back. Hey, if the ball is going that way, let it go. Okay. Here's the girl now who's got the concept. The concept has got into her head. She says, is that what you want? I can deliver. So this is a big thing about coaching. Can we get the concept into our head? If we can, she will deliver. She has no resistance to a concept. But when she's confused, she doesn't know. Do you want me to catch the ball or do you want me to try the new thing? Isn't that it? Okay, girl, two more goes each. You got it, you got it. Now, see what's happening? See what's happening? Yeah. We're getting in under it, so release it a bit earlier. Throw okay. it about way earlier. Now, do you feel it? Yeah. This is all about the release of the ball. You see, when you see it, you recognize it. Okay, girls. Most coaches aren't able to do the, de the demonstration of the strike and they shouldn't do it. But the girl needs a good demonstration. I'll be doing demonstration now for the camera, and you mightn't see me. So coaches, I go down through it. In order to strike the ball at that wall, with the right side, the girl needs to be facing that wall. That's the stroke. So in order, to just I'll do it there. Is that okay? Will you just step sideways? That's lovely now. That's lovely. If you know the five points of the strike, every girl can learn it. So number one is where she engages with the hurley. I never had that hurley in my hand before. I have to catch it there for me. Do you see it perfectly balanced for me now? It's under control for me. It's not bossing me. It's not the tail wagging the dog. The next thing is the hurley should be at 90 degrees to the forearm always always at 90 degrees so when you see the coach doing that she's a scandal the only way you hold a hurley in front of girls is that way they get the idea the next thing is then do they know what to do at the point of strike they're moving that way along a line so you move along a line wait on the front foot 
The, you're skipping sideways, weight on the front foot, striking the ball. This is a new hurley to me now, I'll have it in a moment. That's it, now we're off. So the girl should be striking the ball around knee high on the upswing. The bottom is down, the knees are bent, the muscles are just there to release them on the stroke gives you the power. What most people don't know is the lockout. They don't know that position. Even though all the great Cork girls and Cork boys do that every day. Patrick Horgan, you can name them all out, Ben O'Connor. Go back to my generation. Con Roach, Charlie McCarthy, all those, Gerrit. That's where we learned the stroke. So again, coaches, the girl is, your, is under your control now. At the point of strike, she drops the ball to her knee and she catches it on the upswing. Catches it on the upswing. And she's generating enough power without using her arms. That's arms and the girl would do the right thing. So step forward a little bit, girls. Don't go any further south. You're going to get 10 shots now when your coach are going to observe you before they help you. So don't try and help her now. Just let her go. 10 shots, okay? Where you go. Where you go, pet? 10 shots. You know room there. See this lazy leg here? Yeah. Watch me. Watch me. See where it's coming? That's where you want. That's where you need it. That's the point of strike. Okay. So you're coming on a run. You're coming on a run. Yeah. But that's where you end up. Right? Come out of the run then. Go on. <whistles> Coaching time! <whistles> The girl is in the middle of a phase now of learning that she'll never get this attention again in her life. It's precious time. So watch her hips there. Watch her hips. Is the weight coming on to the other hip? Is the weight coming through? If you see this leg trailing, the weight has come through. A lot of girls are still striking with the weight on this leg. You see that action? Do you notice it? If you see the other thing, you'll notice it. Right, girls. Nice and firm now, hold the hurdles nice and tight, 10 shots. Now, nice and low, nice and low, below the, below the level of the door. Hey, hey, super, that's it, super now, repeat, 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 super. Fantastic, now take in your hand now, go and firm now. Low, 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 low. Now, go on. Now, that's super. Now, let your body flow a little bit towards the door. Let it go a little bit. Don't hold on to it. That's beautiful now. Watch her now, support her. Lower now and firmer. Low and firm. Low and firm. Low and firm. She was unbelievable there. Super. How's it coming? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Getting the information. Yeah. And then let your body take the information. That doesn't come automatic. Your brain will get it. We'd love to see the girl with a little bit of forward motion now. Maybe two half steps or maybe two steps. And even if she came out of her stand, facing the wall, onto her side step. Will you try that? Go back a bit. So you step forward now. So face the wall. Face the wall. So did you come out of it? So you're running hard to that point, and then you come out of your run onto your skip. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Now, where was your little lovely hand there? It didn't appear. It didn't appear. And she got onto the back foot. That's what I was afraid of when I put her through the pace that she'd get onto the back foot. 
So no matter what happens, you're coming off your run, or we're pretending a run, and the weight is coming on the front foot, the one near the wall. Low and firm, low and hard, low and hard. Ready, guys, 10 shots. That's your ball, that's your ball. Now, stick it in the paw, now. Good girl, stick it in your paw, come on. That's your ball, bring it down a little bit on the wall, you have it now. Shorten up that, it's way too long. That's terrific now, that's terrific. Good girl, low ball now, low and firm, below the door now. That's it, now nice and firm now. Go on, off you go, go on. That's your stroke, go on now, go on. Go on. Now shorten your hurley now. Way short, you're too long there all together, go on. We're out here girls, in pairs, striking off this wall. Everybody outside. So now girls, we're running forward. Back a bit. When we reach this line, we're striking the crossbar. And we're achieving the catch in here. So we're striking at the first black line, crossbar high. A good shot. But if you're not in here for the catch, there's no purpose. Now, do you know what the crossbar is? Turn your body, eye on the ball, strike the crossbar, and make the catch. I'm too old to run in. You got the message? Crossbar is for accuracy. So we have speed. If the girl is in here, if the girl is in here for the catch, she has speed. If she's around the crossbar, she has accuracy. Are you get me now? Speed, power, accuracy. Consistency then is the next thing. Can she do it again and again and again? Okay, so now we know what's wrong. Her alignment wasn't right. She's working on her alignment there, but she's only at it two minutes. She's not convinced about her alignment. Go again, you learn a lot there. Okay, so when you get to that point, then you spin your body to there. Lower the bottom for the strike. Lower it! That's it. And unless you're down there, there's nothing coming. You can't hurl like that. That's only 10% of your body. You have to hurl with all of you. Okay, girls. Now, take her and get her, to get her body around. She didn't come half around. So make your body work for you, okay? Now you're onto it. You get it now. You're onto it now. Now can you do it every time? Okay. So make your body fully work for you. Don't allow a lazy leg. Don't allow a lazy hand or a lazy eye to develop. Get in there. Swing your body around and get out of it. So watch the footwork. As I strike, my right foot is pulling me through. That's a basic. Now, why weren't you in for the catch? No conviction around that you were going to hit it. So get your conviction going. Shorten up your hurley. You're only five yards from the goal. Good girl. Now we'll begin with somebody now got the idea. You don't just strike the ball and admire it. Okay, this girl now has got the concept fully. Can the rest of us get the concept? Okay. So you're pulling out of everything. Trust yourself, you're a super athlete. Pull the left leg through and onto the ball. You get me? Pull the left leg through for the catch. And you're after it, okay? So that split second is costing you. Now, we have a couple of girls onto the idea. Girls, I'm going to blow the whistle now fairly often. Got to be organized and ready. So who's killing the pace in the game? Every single evening, one or two of these girls will kill the game for some reason. We can see the girls that are killing the pace. They don't do it deliberately, but they're doing it. I'm going to be the boss. You go on the whistle and you get back for the whistle. 
And if you're in there fooling in the corner, what are you doing? Killing the pace of the game. Crossbar high! Crossbar high! Okay, coaching time! And then, it's the, then we're winding up. Hey, super! Super today! Full marks! A sharp shot of the crossbar! Why did we start climbing the wall? Why did the girls start climbing the wall? Ball in my hand, now you can't give out to me. The ball is in my hand, you have nothing to say to me. I have a lot to say to you. You cheated, yeah? Do you know where the crossbar is? Hit it. Hit it. Go again now. Eye on the ball and give it a good clatter. Now you're on it. That's where the crossbar is. Now you have to get in for the catch. You see it? If I put the ball up there, there's no need to get in for the catch. It'll come out to me. Up there, it'll come back to me. When I hit the ball low, I have to get in. Are we ready, yours? All right, bullseye. Bullseye. Now, a bit more energy on it. Now you're on your business, right? Now, do you see the inside line? Yeah. Make that for the next catch. Good girl, bullseye. Well done. Good girl, good girl. You're making progress now. That's super now, do you get it? That's super. Super altogether. Now why didn't you make it for the catch? Beautiful stroke, perfect stroke, there you are. You could have been there. Why weren't you there? You wasted there, you wasted for the ball. So this girl had a perfect strike. So she mustn't, she mustn't trust herself on the stroke because she didn't move. She got a perfect strike, but she didn't move. Because she said, I never get it right, so it won't come right this time. And it did come right, but she didn't move. Had she moved, she had perfect, perfection in her head. Are you ready? That's your ball, girl. That's your ball. See that hurley going out? Take away the hurley hand out. Only hand for the ball. You see it coming? And we're only here three or four minutes at this, and we're nearly there, aren't we? Isn't that what we want girls to be doing? See, she, she can do this endless. You deserve a big bowl of us for that. You have that earned. Well done. That's her first time doing it all in. She was getting one part right all the time, but the five parts weren't coming, and now you've got the five parts together. Nice. Isn't it? It's nice when it happens. It's not the idea. Now, you're great all day. Go on. So, powerful stroke. No movement after the ball. She has the most beautiful stroke. Maybe she doesn't even know she has the most beautiful stroke. Come on again, love. Come on. Fantastic. On her ease, she was there. So eventually they get nearer and nearer the wall, proving that they have speed, power, accuracy, timing, consistency, and style, girls. If Kamogi isn't about style, give it up. It should be the most stylish game ever played in the history of the world, shouldn't it? It should not be rough and tumble. People with identity, girls, well done. Thank you so much.